Night has fallen as we reach the halfway mark of the big game Cyprus. The Merritt Crystal Cove Hotel and Casino is entertaining the game's biggest cash players with a minimum of $5,000 just to sit at the table, unlimited rebuys and bust outs. The sparks have been flying. Look how excited Roger is. Ooh. They just played a 25k pot with King Eye and Jack Eye. Roger's acting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a pretty courageous play. <laughs> Wow. It's either a strong call or a curious call. Shit. <laughs> the player who will be evicted is Robert Peltecki. Oh, man. Uh, that's awesome. Six hours of play still to come. Let's take a look at who's been making and losing the money so far with your host, Jesse May. Biggest winners so far include the Russian Ruben, who was first out, but is the biggest winner. Big Raj was stuck early. He's come storming back, 22,000 nearly to the good. Dominic Nietzsche only bought in for 10K. He's doing well. Jungle Man Daniel Cates, 14,000 ahead, and Robert Peltecki evicted, but smiling. The big games proved costly so far for Alexander Nelkin, who said, yet, yet, minus 29,000. Michael Mizrachi busted his 10K stack twice. And Alexander Blinoff is on a bit of a grind himself, minus 16,000. Sam Trickett was flying early, but has hit the earth. Nearly 16K in the skids. And Mad Marvin has started off slow, minus 2,500. Back in Northern Cyprus for the Party Poker Big Game 7. Players have taken a short break. A little bit of a shuffle around at the table. Dominic Nietzsche did the old hit and run. And uh, his seat is filled by Raul Orestu, who I believe is a local casino player, buying in for $10,000. And in the empty seven seat, Vladimir Shemilev sitting down. Vladimir is reputed to be a beast. He's won several million dollars in tournament winnings, has a WSOP bracelet, second in the Players' Championship a few years ago. He's sitting down with $10,000 at all. Race, five You look like an alley. So back in action here at the big game seven. And Big Raj is sort of the big story right now because uh, he was buried in this game for over 25,000. And now is the big winner with the big stack, over 60K. Call. Call. But I think a couple of these players will be looking to get in pots with Big Rush. He was so tight when you were here earlier, the yeah, first yeah. couple hours. And uh, Five players. then he went through a stretch of playing every hand, and it sure worked out. Well, he's changed his shirt, turned his hat sideways. Yeah, he kind of looks like a skateboarder right now. Although I'd like to see I'd this. Like to see him on the <laughs> I'd like to see him. <laughs> 1,000 bet. <laughs> well, he's about to get jumped here, is Big Roger Harabidian, because Shemilev flopped the set against the pocket Three, queens. And seven, being that this is, well, Shemilev's first hand or thereabouts, what's Big Raj to make of it? Of course, you never love the queens in a five-way pot on a paired flop. Yet everybody does love the queens. And I uh, guess you can hardly blame Ten Big thousand. Roger here. Let's see him, he says. Right. And for Shemilev, what a great start. This could be a early double up for the Russian. This is not an ideal start for Big Raj, but for Vladimir, he's about to have a normal size stack now, if the three sixes hold. No talking between them. I guess they're just running it the once. I mean, I guess with the flush draw on board, Ben, Roger's well within his rights to kind of stack off against the short stack back. on that flop. Yeah, I don't think he's done a lot wrong. 
especially with this guy's reputation. I'm, I'm never folding queens there either. I thought he'd be younger, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the new breed, I think, in the Russian school. And really, where he excels, from what I understand, is sort of the mixed games. I believe he won his bracelet in Omaha High Low. Of course, the Players' Championship, they play eight games. But it doesn't look like he's a slouch at No Limit Hold'em either. Bus. Bus. Of course, Nikolai Blinov in, uh, on Vladimir's left. He was one of the winners, I believe, when you left. Now he's one of the big losers at the table. Got stuck with the Queens against Rogers Kings in a huge pot. Close. And is now losing about 15,000. Three plays. Of Vladimir, who's raised now just about every hand. Open this up. King nine of spades. Called by Trickett on the okay. button with the eight nine. Trickett looks like he wants to get involved. That's a great flop for Trickett. I mean, he Bad. can he can really, Bad. with his stack, he can really just jam yeah. it, can't he? Call. And Daniel Cates has got a six, which is... Basically, second pair. Flat calls the 1100. So, on how many turns does Trickett just decide to barrel this in? That's not a great turn card, is it? I think you should bet, though. I mean, if he checks, he's, he seems like kind of face up for a draw, so betting's definitely better. Bet. 3,200. And if Cates calls here, does he have to call a lot of rivers as well? Uh. A lot of people say that, that if you call the turn, you have to call the river, but I definitely disagree. Like, it all depends what the river is. I wonder what kind of hand Daniel well, Cates put Sam Trickett on. I mean, surely there's a whole lot of pocket pairs in Trickett's range that beat Jungle, man. Yeah, let's give up. Give up on the river. Don't bluff the jungle. And uh, hard as nails is Trickett with the A6. Think he was calling a big river bet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great bluff card, was it? That cost a few thousand already, and Sam Trickett is going to have to try and steady the ship. It's really the hardest thing well, about a cash tough. game, isn't it? I mean, in the tournament, you make two, three mistakes, or things go kind of less than ideal and you're pretty much just out on the rail yeah you really can't survive a sustained bad run in a tournament Race five pumps. unless you're of course chip leader and get knocked out Plus. on the bubble Plus. is that a rub down <laughs> I, don't know. I was just saying because i assumed it had happened to you <laughs> it's happened to everybody else <laughs> it's happened more than once yeah <laughs> well played Constantinus has uh, opened this up after the straddle with the two threes to 500. And he's a guy who has basically been the tightest at the table cool. so far. Heads up. Heads up with Marvin with 8-7. Well, oh. Marvin's going to do some money here. He's going to have to do some money here, isn't he? Yeah. At least one street of money. They don't call him mad for nothing. <laughs> I mean, really, anything besides check call would be a weird line for Marvin to take here, right? See what happens on the turn sort of thing? Oh. Yeah. And if it I would. Well. Yeah. I mean, if it comes an eight or seven, he's, he's in big trouble. Maybe anything else he can get away from it? That's a brick. Pot now just over 2,000. Does Constantine realize he's got Marvin dead to rights? And should he make a big bet? Yeah, he knows where he is. And against Marvin, you should be uh, betting probably 70% pot. 19. So at this stage, Marvin can only beat a bluff. I mean, the raise was under the gun. It was just sort of a field play. Yeah, tight guy under the gun. This, is, this should be an easy fold, I think. Just a little suspicious. 
I'll tell you, if he gets too curious and calls turn and calls river, he's going to feel really silly, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> the guy's going to turn over a set of threes and he's going to go, oh, yeah. I it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> should have known that. There he goes. Yeah. On top of his game. Marvin does, in his tournament game, he gets in lots of pots. So, obviously, uh, he's happy with the, the complicated decisions. And for Constantinos, I think that's the first pot he's won in a while. If not all night. We'll be back for more from the Merritt Crystal Cove Hotel and Casino as the big game continues after the break. Hundreds of poker players have flocked to the glamorous Merritt Crystal Cove Casino and Resort in Northern Cyprus, where 35 poker tournaments are playing out as part of the World Poker Tour event, making up an incredible $3 million prize pool. Before the main event kicks off, there's the chance for those whose bankroll can take it to win big in the WPT special event that is the big game. And Sam Trickett has added another $10,000 to his stack, just trying to keep pace with this game. He's probably thinking to himself, here I am again. I think he's played in either three or four of the big games and been buried in every one. You can see what that he's thinking. I wish I was on the beach. I could have gone to the beach this morning. <laughs> Spent the day in the sun, sunglasses, suntan lotion. No, instead, buried $20,000 in a game with four Russians. Jungle man. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin and a Romanian. <laughs> It's actually quite an international game right now. Konstantinos is Greek, obviously. A couple Russians. Not really sure if the jungleman has a sworn country anymore. Well, he could kind of be his own country. Is it four race, eight count. Pass. 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 Even though jungleman did get caught making the biggest bluff uh, at the table, I. I just kind of feel like he's been the one who's been the most fun to watch so far tonight. I think he's played really well. Very out-of-the-box kind of guy, you know? Yeah, it's always interesting, on or off the table. He's, he's just, I mean, Kelly Kim couldn't stop gushing about his sizing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, well, when you played like however many million hands heads up, sizing, sizing's quite like, yeah, natural. Everyone's talking about the sizing these days. I think Vladimir Shemilev is kind of regretting this is the one hand he folded. It would have flopped the nut flush. Ace, deuce of diamonds he had. But this is a funny hand. I mean, Kate's yeah. flopped nothing and decided to check it back. It's obviously not like he's giving out, giving up the pot. Yeah, it almost looks stronger than betting sometimes against players like Roger. He's really frozen, Roger. I mean, this is maybe the second or third time when... Mm -hmm. he, just by the way the cards lay, you could have seen that Roger can steal the pot against Jungle Man on the turn. And for some reason, he's not pulling the trigger. I'm not sure it would have worked. I'm not sure it would have worked. I think Jungle Man... Jungle Man's got eight high, or a pair of fives, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> he still, he still would have picked yeah, it up. It. And he takes it on the, on the river, it does, Raj. $2,000. <laughs> check, 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 and on the river 2000, it's easy call. Easy call. Are you going to do that with Pocket 4? It wasn't a good pair, but another pair. Oh, he showed him 1-4, was that it? So. Same before, most players are raising to either 550 or 600. Jungle Man always opening to at least 700. Yeah, I don't know if that's from his heads up background, but I've, I said that before that he, he just always bets Pass. like really big. Big, yeah. Pass. It does put people under a lot more pressure, doesn't it? Yeah. Of course, trying to move Big Raj off the Jack's egg suit is 
trying to move a rock out of a hard place. I wouldn't fancy anybody moving Big Raj anyway. <laughs> Check. Well, this is a bit of fun. Shemalev has flopped the nines, and Check. Daniel with sort of the straight draw on the over cards. I guess he's checked the call here. Red 12 cards, it's so. Pass. Jungle, he could do it. He could call all rays. Call. Sit four. Heads up. Check. Is, it, is Kate's hand kind of a little a little face up that he can't be strong right now? Or has he given this pot up? Pass. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like a bit of a weak line he took. Yeah, he took a weak line last hand as well with the 8-5. Uh, I wonder if he knows about Shemalev and his reputation. Although Jungle Man is the kind of guy who just doesn't really seem to feel like anybody has any chance against him in no limit hold them. His confidence is just... Yeah, when you've won as much as he has. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, like, Trickett thinks he's the best no limit hold them player in the world. The jungleman knows he's the best no limit hold them player in the world. <laughs> According to the jungle. Man. Maybe heads up, maybe. <laughs> no, I mean, whether or not it's true, the jungleman wouldn't even... He doesn't even think there should be a discussion. <laughs> He just giggles when people want to play him, I think. Race, 615, sit five. Marvin trying to get into the spirit of things. He's really, his timing has been dire so far tonight. <laughs> See that look? Yeah. Well, it's like every time Marvin puts chips in the pot, Race, the tightest player at the pounds. table just like launches into him. <laughs> He's just like, I have no chance. <laughs> oh, he's, he's made it really small, though. It's easy for Marvin to peel. Pass. Even out of Pass. position, he should definitely peel here. Uh, I would. Well, 14. How deep Pass. is he? I know, big Raj has come flying in as well. Five, six of spades, I think. Like, once the pot's three-way, yeah, it's he, fairly... Well, he can't fold that. Yeah. It's such a good hand. If he has got aces of kings, it's, it's like a good hand to bust those hands. I feel like Constantinus is in trouble here. I don't know why. Well, he is now. Sorry, if I keep nudging you. No, is he? I've got the smallest space. Second pair like from Marvin. Like yeah, like is this a good <laughs> spot to lead into the razor? Okay. Or not really? Uh, not really. It's just weak. <laughs> oh, I okay. would. If somebody. If I was. Uh, if I had ace king here, I wouldn't be uh, folding if someone led okay. into me. Checked around. Oh. And I would imagine Marvin will start to think he's got the best hand. I think Raj might take a pop at this. Bet 2003. How many options has Marvin got here? He can't pass right now, can he? I, would, I think it would call, but I, I think you could do it, a, a, any of the three decisions. Because Big Raj could easily have a queen? Yeah. Or he could easily just have nothing. He's pulling a face like he's going to fold, but I think it will call. Call. Pass. Well, Constantine doesn't want to try the over call. That's a little tight. Check, Check right. That's That's terrible. Right. Uh, you would have made an overcall there? Just no, he, 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 he's check blind. Oh, you don't like, like to check blind? How can you check blind? I mean, on that river now, he can get value out of queen, uh, okay. a turn. Like, down, that's, that is check definitely check bad, check, check, checking blind there. <laughs> 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 it just shows, like, it just gives away so much information as well. Is there ever a good time to check blind? I, I guess, like... When you call somebody's raise and you're going to check any flop, then I guess you can then. Let's review the biggest winners in the big game so far. Three of these players still at the table, but not Alexi Rubin, who was in quick.
and out yeah, like a light, 25,000 ahead. Big Raj, since he turned his hat back, has also turned back the clock, 20,000 ahead. Nietzsche is flying, as is Daniel Cates. Vladimir Shemilev has gotten off to a very good start, and Robert Peltecki, of course, was struggling for the first couple hours, but hit a big pot Pass. and left the table. Pass. Does feel at this stage, Ben, like all you have to do to get evicted Pass. from the big game is win a big pot. Yeah. <laughs> Race. It's been times. weird, hasn't it? The people that have been uh, kicked off are not what I expected. Pass. Why would you take? I don't understand why you'd ever check law in there. Call. <laughs> And uh, yes. Roger has just flatted here with the ace king sm in the small blind to trick its yes. open. Heads Deceptive up. or just careful play? I don't hate it. When Roger three bets, everybody thinks he's got something, so. Yeah, we'll get value now. Check in the back. Check. <laughs> Should definitely just let it trick it hang himself. Sit one. Yeah, I mean, if it hits a queen or a seven, that's just unlucky. 21. You should be calling. Twenty-one, raise. What do I know? <laughs> it's a well. It's a funny check raise because oh. uh, it's. I mean, uh, every time Haribi Raj has a check raise so far tonight, he's had a flush draw. And this is actually. Uh, I wonder if if Sam might. Uh, Four thousand five hundred. Is it possible he could get sucked into thinking that he's up against a flush draw? It's possible because the ace is in the club. He could easily have ace something of clubs as well. He's got the ace of clubs too, so it's... Anything about the bet size? It's basically a pot size bet. Yeah, he's oh, trying to level trick it into uh, thinking he has a flush draw. Oh, Sam. He's That's really giving him forward. the rope. Yeah. <laughs> was that a great fold or kind of an easy fold? Easy, easy fold. But if you're on tilt and losing, it's a harder See, fold. Two clubs on the flop till the, uh, till the turn. Biggest loser so far. Nothing went right for Nelkin. He's gone 29,000 with him. Sam Trickett, yeah. he's won right. millions in his poker career, but always buried in the big game. Mizrachi got hit and ran. Nikolai Blinov climbing out of the hole. And for Marvin Rettenmeyer, he kind of wished he'd stayed in bed. Olorescu and Constantino still fighting and not down much. And you didn't even realize it. <laughs> Alive, smart, and yeah, you got camera. Yeah, yeah. Still several hours left in this party poker big game, but it feels like it's been a bit of a reset. All the action was on the table right before the break. And now these guys have to kind of wind their adrenaline back Pass. up again. Pass. Pass. I'm not exactly Pass. sure what Blinoff, uh, what gets him excited, but we haven't seen it yet. <laughs> He's, you know. Can you imagine him just jumping around like a little boy, sh shouting his head off? I wonder what it would take. I don't think there is anything. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it'd, be good to, it'd be good to see. I mean, I don't Heads know. Up. A new pony or something. I'm sure. <laughs> 600 back. So this pot between uh, Raul and Roger. Raul has Close. opened and then put in the C bet on the flop. And look at this float. It's just a naked float by Big Raj. It's, this is going to work too. Check. Yeah. Jack eight for Raul. Jack ten for Roger on the ace high boogie boogie board. Twenty-one. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing that Raul can do. He's just been owned, I think. Pass. That he has. 
I think Roger would actually own me because I thought <laughs> I thought he was really tight. I'd always put him on it. <laughs> he's really, I mean, he's obviously got gears because he really was squeaky clean for the first four hours. Yeah. And then he just got his wires crossed for a while. And uh, he's now sitting on the biggest stack at the table. I mean, when Roger's playing sicker than Jungle Man, all right, what do you make of that? <laughs> There's a lot more to him than meets the eye, Big Roger, isn't there? I mean, there's obviously a lot more to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think when he turned his cap from backwards to sideways, he sort of checked it out of the mirror just to make sure it looked good? <laughs> <laughs> Can he hear you? <laughs> I don't know. It does look good, though. It does look kind of good. Oh, yeah. limping. I think more older guys should wear caps I'll start limping. <laughs> I just need to. 1,600. So this is a three bet from Ad Marvin on the Big Roger Open from the button. Probably a good spot for a squeeze. On the button, yeah. It's always. Big Roger's kind of feeling a lot, very confident right now. Oh wow. What a spot for a cold four. Do you think Constantine has realized that Mad Marvin just gets shivers every time he sticks a chip in the pot? Yeah. Is there any defense for this? Or is Marvin just gonna just have to give it up? Yeah, he's just he's just lost the pot. That's a pretty good re-raise. Maybe he's not as tight as uh, you thought. Oh, he, he just loves peeling so much, doesn't he, Roger? Would you say he definitely has two sevens here? No. The contract, it was for nothing. And uh, this is this is where you can really use your table image, right? Constantinus looking like just a tight guy in the black shirt and coming in with a, a perfectly timed cold four bet. And it is perfectly timed, right? Yeah. If, if Marvin does anything other than fold, I'll be amazed. He's only got 10K in front of him. He'd have to be nearly psychic to pull this one out of the hat. Of course, you know how they say the great tournament players love to make moves with the suited aces. Well, <laughs> certainly the suited kings have to be the next best. No. I mean, you might have, you'd have had close to value to call anyway if Marvin had shoved, so you can just never shove there. Well, Kelly Kim says when uh, Constantina sat down, said he is quite a good player and probably will be underrated by the rest of the table. Those words ring true right now as he gets back to even and ahead. Five hours still to play here in Cyprus. Back for more big game action after the break. Welcome back to the Merritt Crystal Cove Hotel and Casino, the venue for the second stop in Season 7 of the Party Poker Big Game. Still plenty of time for our pros to make a tidy profit, get voted off, or bust themselves off the table. Let's return to the action. Double straddle out. And uh, only one live straddle is allowed in Cyprus, so that is a dead straddle. We call it double yeah? I'd say he's feeling quite good, Raj, putting out the dead yeah. double. Well, yeah. was that, that, that's not live, though. Ah, I thought it was live. No, because we did agree early on that it was going to stay as um, 51, 2, but the 2 has become compulsory. The 4 is not compulsory. Yeah, but, but it's, not, it's not live. It's not live. We only do the 2 Have a live. bit of that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I just don't care. Have you any seen seen any more blatant disregard of the rules for straddling than that? <laughs> now it's like it's a live now. <laughs> now it's a live. Yeah. Kind of feel like the jungle man would be have re-raised that with just nearly anything. Yeah. Five. Five. Vladimir's got tens though. Wow. I think he clicks it. Five. 
2,800. Yeah. Not far off. It's not a big re-raise. It's pretty obvious that Kate doesn't have it here with Rogers, uh, you know, basically one mistake pretty much. Any chance that Daniel might take it up a notch? Oh wow, here comes Every Blinoff. Chance, yeah. Well, he's only got sixteen thousand of Roman. I mean, it's too much. Yeah, but he's he just got go kings. all. Oh, he's got two kings. What is the right play on his stack? Is it too obvious if he makes a five? Is it a five bet now? It all it all depends how he's been playing. I mean, if he's been doing that a lot, then it's fine to do. And it, but if he's been quite tight, then it's going to look obvious. Kind of feel like anything he does, putting chips in the pot, is going to look big. Yeah. If, if I was, if I'd been tight, I would tank shove. And if I'd been loose, I would uh, like. Three bet, or whatever it is, six bet small, or whatever it is now. Tank shove, try and make it look like ace king. Or, or yeah, or even like, even like sevens or eights, you could, like, you could do that with. Uh, look, given that they know jungle man's light, they know that Vladimir knows that, so therefore the ranges are much smaller than a normal hand. I think if Blinov uh, shoves, Shevelev will call. Has he clicked yeah, it? You know he's clicked it, and to you that looks pretty. Dip. It all depends yeah. how he's been playing, but okay. I don't mind it. I guess it'll all depend on what Shemilev does. To see if he gets his fish on the hook. Look what you started, Raj. <laughs> You've seen some of the faces that Jungleman pulls when he's getting a massage. Well, Shemilev is taking the flop off, and they're not really deep enough to set mine, so you can only assume, Ben, that if it comes a low flop, he yeah. can get himself in trouble. He's going in if there's no ace or king. That might have saved him. Yeah, that might have saved him. I wonder if Shemilev wants to get really creative. Oh. The standard play is to check fold for Shemilev, but we'll see. Wow, he check raised with the tens. That's, that's kind of, that's bizarre, isn't it? He's making it look like he has ace, king, or ace, queen. <laughs> And uh, Blinov's called. What an insane hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like 5k back, I think. It's kind of an awesome check raise by Shemilev, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's just. Uh, yeah, he, he's realized he can't bluff him off when he's got 6k back. Is he done? He's snapping him if he shows. That was so, a good play. With, that was a good play with tens. It really was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was. It was pretty ferocious. Going to work against a lot of guys, but not against Blinov. You probably thought a lot of the time he, he was uh, he was doing it nothing with nothing pre. So. First pot that. Polinov has won in a while. Got hammered with the two queens. Certainly frightened with the two kings, but it's all come good. 400 Call. 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 Open from Polinov. Quite a nice hand. Called around the back. Only 200 to the jungle man, so he's had appeal. And looks like Mad Marvin from the straddle. Three bet, definitely. With the ace queen. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. And and he will call a shove. Yeah. But Blinov is in a bit of a tough spot, isn't he? He's got too much money to be uh, folded. <laughs> 
I mean, he's only put 400 in. Does he really want to put 8,000 in, essentially? I mean, there's absolutely no value in set mining, so I guess he's raising again or folding. Good, solid fold. Well, we see one of Trickett's uh, cards. The little pinky went out there. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Is there what what can't trick it have? Can he not can he have two wow. kings? Can he have two kings? Or can he have uh, ace king? Shields. He yeah. can't have two kings because there's too many dead kings already. <laughs> 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 or can he? Yeah, he can, yeah, he can. Oh wait. Do you think he has ace king? It must be ace king. Would he do it with anything else? He would what? never expect Marvin yeah. to be three bet folding, would he? I think Marvin will snap him, but I'm I didn't not sure. even realize it was in the hand. Huh? I didn't even realize it was in the hand. Well, yeah. we'll have a look. All in. Please have tens. <laughs> King yeah, Jack cool. has he got? Cool. I think Trick has got That's King good. Jack. Ah, oh, please have Ace Queen. <laughs> yeah, he's got King Jack. He has <laughs> Ace King. He has Ace King. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? We'll bet, but we bet exact equity. <laughs> we can do it after. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So like right, right. four thousand. Exactly seven. equity. So I'm like it's like sixty, nearly sixty forty, right? Yeah, yeah. But we do it afterwards equity. Okay, so uh, so we like so we post we both put in ten k total and whoever's got the sixty percent puts in the six k or whatever. All right, let's yeah. do it that way. All right. So the I'm not sure what they said, but I have a feeling one. that there's sure. no way it can go one. right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he's like fifty eight percent. Do it like really slow. I think Tricket trick uh, realized the more money he puts on it, the better it's going to run. <laughs> Nice. So they've got an extra ten thousand dollars on this somehow. Something along the lines of you win four K, I win six. Oh, no! Obviously. Wow! <laughs> Obviously. Wow! I'm on such a tour right now. I take a chop. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at those percentages. Marvin's in dire shape. Any diamond. I just want to get jungle more money than I want to get Marvin. Yeah. Obviously, Sam Jeez. You called that from a long way out. Oh, yeah. If he lost those, he wouldn't be where he is. Come on. No mad Marvin squelched. I do have a deposit here. When you speak to Sam, he's got that aura. You say to him, you know, he's like, I'm going to win this tournament. You say, what if. You know, what if you get kings and someone gets aces? He's like, yeah, I'll win that as well. Like, he just he <laughs> always believes he's going to win. So fairly quick 20,000 for Marvin Rettenmeyer, well, although we'll at least the last 8,000, nothing you could do you. about <laughs> that. If he knew that there was three dead kings, he yeah, would probably he would. be a little more aggrieved. Yeah, it's off the table. It's not, yeah, it's... All right, calculate. I wonder if that's nearly made trick it even. That's <laughs> like down 11,000. He's just won 6,000 more from Daniel Cates. Happy days. And for Marvin oh, Redmeyer, now that's a professional top up. He's bought in twice for 10,000. Now he's topping up 20. Wants to make sure that if he doubles up, he can get out of the hole. We can play red or black flops if you want, if you want to try and get your money back. <laughs> uh, okay. I've played yeah. that with Luke. I, I feel like I'm doing for that. True yeah. gambling. Yeah, Check this out. Both, both Sam right, Trickett and red. Mad Marvin drained oh, their coffee patron in one <laughs> gulp. That was easy. Jungle Man has, has sipped. Red he's taken <laughs> <he's laughs> two sips of a shimmer shot glass, and he can barely handle his chips anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an ear massage? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like it's working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. left calling with 9 2 off. <laughs> Interesting. 
I don't think I've had it so far. I just, I've had some pretty good hands. Yeah, it is. Well, was it a lint? No, it was a, you're right. It was a, just a single raise. Yeah. For, he's in, he's okay. in the. You're like the second biggest winner. Okay. Straddle position. Nah, you're, at, you're in yeah. for 20k. Yeah. I can see a 5k chip. Jungle on the button. 10. And if it's checked around to him, okay, like checked around. Who's going to fire the turn? Minus six to me. Oh, two straights. Yeah, this is getting dropped. <laughs> this, this is so brutal. <laughs> and this is the kind of spot where Marvin might just check call check. with the check. just the one check. card straight. You would have won this. What you would have won this flop, look. Jeez, everything wow. checked. Actually made made two players uh, trips. Huh? All of a sudden. Huh? Okay. Maybe there's some value out there. I still don't see how you can call when there's five people. If somebody's betting into five people and not a nine's huh? never good. Uh, One Especially that big. Okay. Okay. Easy pass for Shamalev in your mind? Yeah. You can maybe raise and try and knock a 10 off because you've got one of the, you know, you've got one of the nine blockers, but I prefer a fold. I think he's definitely thinking about raising rather than calling. Yeah. What kind of full house can he represent? He can nine have like jack, eight, nine, eight. Eight, nine, jack, nine, queen, nine. Yeah. <laughs> Any of the, uh, oh, that's, that's pretty terrible. He just flat called. Yeah, that's that's not good. He's still got three players after him as well. Yeah. Oh, Big Raj has no idea. Happy to call the bet, but the bet and the call, can he make an over call here? He's saying no. Marvin's going to take the whole pot. Uh, that's how bad the nine call is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he just Roger. rubs it into Shamil, Shamil of absolute needle. Raised. Marvin has no idea how lucky he got, really. I guess if yeah, Shamalev yeah. folds and Big Raj calls, he for sure. He calls that, yeah. I think someone has a fold there a lot. I don't even look at Anders. I didn't even watch Anders. I'm mad Marvin could use a bit of, I didn't even watch. Bit of good I fortune. Raised. One of the amazing things about the poker world these days is how many great poker players are out there that, and they're not even all on the internet, especially, uh, you know, as Kelly Kim was saying, all these private games in Moscow, Kazakhstan, Cyprus, and they're playing quite big. Daniel is still plotting on with the three and a half X bets, 700. Well, you got Trickett on the hook. <laughs> He's <laughs> asleep. <laughs> Doesn't he sleep like three hours a night or something? I don't know. Like like Albert Einstein. So if Trickett does have a flush draw here, uh -oh. maybe, maybe not. That can't be a bad card regardless <laughs> of what he has, Check. unless he's sitting Check. with pocket aces. Got a flush? Anyone's guess? They would nearly have to be, wouldn't it? Depends on it. I'll see how much you bets and then. 2,600 into 33. Jungle beats nothing now. I mean, absolutely nothing. Even 5 3 got there.
Unless Sam's got like sevens or something. Yeah, Alright, I'll show you to show me. <laughs> that is so not gonna work. For the first time. He's gone for it. That is so not gonna work. I know what you have anyway. Yeah, exactly pocket sevens, right? No, I don't have pocket sevens. I'm better than that. I can't tell him, he seems drunk TV. normally, so it's hard to tell. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck you have that I get. <laughs> <laughs> you get one Patron in him. <laughs> it's not one Patron, it's half a shot of half coffee, half Patron. It's like a thimbleful. <laughs> Now I'm happy. I'm stuck here right now. You no should idea. be. I'm by the chicken. Yes. Yeah, I was feeling good about the flop. It's true. It's been blown to pieces. You know, of all the guys, I mean, everybody knows that after a half hour you find out what everybody had. But Trickett makes the most out of that half hour. And uh, in fact, he did have the nut flush. If I check back, I would have lost the hand too, probably. Oh. Yeah. Roger limping with Jax. Plus. Plus. I imagine Plus. that was sort of set up for Daniel Cates, who has been really trying to isolate Jungle Band quite a bit. Call. And he's fallen for it. So is this an obvious spot for Big Raj to uh, to re-raise? I, I just hate it from the start, like when you limp. It's so obvious if you limp re-raise. Let's call him, right? Yeah. He's definitely underrepresented his hand at this stage, yeah. Big Raj. And that will narrow the field down. Shemalev in. You do get the feeling he's a bit of a creative player, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Certainly not going to let the slight disadvantage of having no cards put uh, him off of playing. It's cash. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins this pot? Well, Roger's obviously favorite. I think you'll bet like 2K. Okay. Oh my. See, on that board texture, I don't like checking either. If you're Shemalev? No, or if, if you're Raj. If you're Raja, because I mean, any any card just makes your hand like you know you just don't you just don't want no there is no good turns really. I mean that's not a bad one. It's weird when when people do these plays that I think are bad. They always seem to work out. So I mean, right? It's worked perfect. Trigger Trigger was definitely check giving up on the flop. And now, if he bluff bluffs, uh, Big Raj is going to win maximum. Yeah. I wonder if there's kind of a funny spot here for Shemilev to go completely bonkers. Call. Cool. Cool. He's got 10,000 in front of him. Perhaps not. Just trick it. The river has to be a nice. Is he done with it? What kind of hand does it look like Big, Big Raj has? It doesn't look like Big Raj can fold anything that Trickett beats, does it? That mean that beats Trickett. Maybe, uh, I don't know, can he get him off a chop? Perhaps if Big Raj had 8-6, A6 or something like that? Yeah, it's, I think he's done with it. Is this one of those spots where if you if you try and make a value bet, if you're Big Raj, you kind of open yourself up to being... 5,500. Oh, that's a big bet. I think if you bet like 2K, Trickett would probably just call. 
Because th there are a few busted uh, busted draws, but this is just a weird hand. I'll never play it this way, so I don't. I mean, Kelly Kim was saying when you make these sort of try and get value on the river against these world class players, sometimes they just bite you back, put yeah, you in a really yeah. tough spot. I mean, obviously, it's. You have to know what you're going to do before you bet. But is he thinking between folding and calling or folding and raising or calling and raising? What do you think he's between? Is he considering all options? Well, he, he is raised, raising a real option here? No, he, he raised really. from early position and like the way the boards run out, Roger's much more likely to have a five or a four than he is. Roger could have ace five, so, and he's never folding that. So I think he's, yeah, he's between mm -hmm. calling yeah. and folding, but I think he'll fold. Is this a central problem with the hand is that like you, he would have expected Roger to you have Roger? <laughs> to bet the flop with a hand like two jacks? Yeah, you just can't put him I on jacks know. at this point. But that's the beauty of unorthodox players, that's why they make money, they, they just do just have a full they, yeah, they just play in a way that you can't predict. <laughs> 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 can't beat much. What hands is it consistent with? Because it is quite a big bet, oh, yeah, I anything. guess. Pocket threes. Pocket twos. <laughs> well, after he's talked this long, he will only call her fold then. Six, nine. Suited. Guess those hands are all kind of reasonable. He's trying ah. to justify the call. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good fold. Curiosity Six, nine, killed the cat. Eight, Take me for a chicken. <laughs> really, you think I, I, every sure, time, sure. I, all my sure. life I bluff. Sure. You think that? No, I just, I wish you had more bluffs. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I didn't think you had that. Every, every time you think I'm, I'm bluff. <laughs> no, I bluff I to my wife, I bluff to everybody. I didn't <laughs> fold it, I didn't think you were bluffing, I fold it. <laughs> I'm not sure if this sure. is the proper form for that <laughs> declaration. <laughs> I thought he was going to when I saw that paint card. Like, oh. 33,000 ahead is about your head. Big rush. <laughs> no finish, bro. We'll be playing through the night here in Cyprus. So who'll end up the biggest winner and the biggest loser as the clock ticks up to 12 hours of continuous cash game play. Back in a moment. Somewhere around nine hours we are into this big game seven. That was like the spot that I got. Still at least four or five oh, hours to go. I feel like it's is it dragging a little bit. I think the pace of play has slightly Five. slowed. Call. Use it with me and my friend. We have unfinished business. Check in the dark, of course. Check. Call in the dark. Big Raj versus Trickett yet again. Call. Ooh. Check again. And uh Check. Raj kind of walking the dog here. And uh I'm not sure. I'm sure he doesn't love that turn card, but hard to see him folding. Question is how much trouble oh. is trick it in?
certainly intends on calling anything reasonable does big raj and this your bets here maybe a bit of a blocking bet which could also be a red rag to a bull 2000 bet only two and i make two i Snap muck from Sam, or is he having a thought? The four did complete a straight. It was either going to be a very tough one to read or read, or a very easy one for Sam Trickett. There he goes. And that is the trigger. 9,400. Again, again you blow. Again you make your, your, your crazy game. Yeah. Again you make a mistake. Incredible. Well, he's kind of on the right line here, Big Raj. God, this would be, this would be a sick call. Well, if Sam Trickett has any fear at all, he'll start sweating now. <laughs> He's turned the 10 high into a plop. smells a rat here. No. He's either played this like a genius, Roger, or he's lost the absolute maximum. And all he has to do is call. One of those spots where if you call and you're wrong, you feel like such a goose. If you're right, you're a hero. Trick, it's a cool rider, but he's really, I mean. He's trying everything to get a read off Sam Trickett. Everything. Is it can't be an ace, Big Roger. It really does feel uh, like a straight or nothing. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you, saying? <laughs> you, had. you asked me before what I had. That's a fair question. What do you have? What do you have? Oh, you, t you, you speak too much, my friend. If Sam had any idea how thin Roger was thinking of calling him, he'd fall through the floor. He must okay, think he must think Roger has actually four, made four. two pair on fast. the river. And he's fast. Bravo. If you make block, Certainly have bravo. to show this trigger. Make block. Show, show the block. Make block. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And Sam Trickett winning that big pot, only down 8,000 now. Well, uh, welcoming into the box one of the big winners who was in the big game. And Dominic, you, were, you watched that last hand. What, what do you think? That was pretty uh, exciting, wasn't it? Who do you think is playing the best at the table right now? Uh, regardless of whether or not they, they are the best player, who's I'm, playing really well? I mean, I'll be very honest here, and that's part of the reason why I left. I think Daniel Cates is a great player. <laughs> And he was on my left with a million big blinds. Wow. And that's not something you want in this lineup. So if you're on the right of Daniel Cates or like on the right of Sam Trickett in this lineup, that's 
pretty pretty bad. <laughs> Of course, in the in the most crucial pot, you really owned Jungle Man, so that was kind. Uh, that must have been kind of fun. You did own him. Come it, on. it was kind of. I mean, I'm not sure what to say about this end. Really, I, I kind of felt like I had a life tell on him. It's just he doesn't play much life poker, so I felt like I had an edge there when it comes yes. to like you know the life poker part of the game. Uh, yeah, no. It's Meanwhile, Mad Marvin, he's only waited about three hours to finally yeah, pick up a hand. Set. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's Marvin who was set in there. <laughs> Jim. And uh, look, there's been a better bet and call already. Shemilev has yeah. led at this, and Big Raj has called the second pair. Is this a clear? Marvin's only got. Well, he's got twenty-three thousand. No, he's a, a fair amount of money there. I see it's reloaded. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's not to know how weak everybody is, or does a check raise just look so strong from him right now? What has just happened here? Uh, who's the prefill aggressor in the sand? I think it's Shemilev. Shemilev checked, I guess. No, Shemilev has bet 1,600. Oh, okay. Big Raj has called from the button with the sixes. Oh. And, Marvin and now Marvin's in the small blind, uh, or the big blind even. I genuinely prefer a check race here. Um. He's gone for the call. And the reason that you prefer the check race is because the turn's very hard for him to play, right? No, no, you got you got to build a big pot somehow. And while I agree, you're you're representing yeah. a strong hand. It's like kind of yeah. tough to get, you know. Um, see that the way raising works, you see, like you're also kind of putting on a squeeze play where it's really tough for both players to do anything about it. While if you call, you still represent a strong hand. So you kind of just have to race there and hope like they have something or they get stubborn. But Um, this is obviously Roger trying to turn his hand into bluff or represent the queen. I mean, he doesn't really... It's hard for him to think he has the best hand right no, now. Because Marvin like, has to have something, right? Like, certainly not. Like, when Marvin overcalls there, like, he, there's no way Roger's six is good. Um, I don't really think that's a great turn made by Roger, to be honest. It's just kind of like... He could have grabbed the free card and tried to steal it with a, I mean, a like, 10 on the river or like, something. You probably have five outs to make the best hand. You know, that's very likely. And I don't know. It's, it's just... I just don't think he's going to get many folds there, really. Of course, with the straight now on the board, is a call better than a raise here for In Marvin? In Marvin's spot, definitely, yes. He just he should just call here. Check raising is just going to represent so much strength at this point, you know. It just kind of looks like exactly what he has, which is why he shouldn't do it. There are a lot of options he could have considered here, like... One line I like to mix in is just like leading the turn. You know, it's a pretty cool line, and because it's confusing, you know. <laughs> well, Big Raj is drawing dead, but you feel like there are some great barreling cards for him, depending on what kind of heart he's got. Uh, um, a nine, for instance, or a seven. Yeah, a nine or seven, like pretty good. We'll see. Uh, I mean, at this point, he's just gonna continue with his bluff. I feel like it's. Roger can certainly have a lot of sevens in this range here, like seven, eight, seven, eight, six, seven, five, seven. Um, yeah, all of those are certainly possible. Seven, nine, even you know, it's not completely un unreasonable. They're playing like a lot of money, yeah. and if Roger pulls a trigger here, Marvin's gonna have a really tough decision. Because in Roger's mind, Marvin has played this hand quite consistent with something like king, queen, or queen jack, hasn't he? A absolutely, yes. Like. Yeah, you know, it's for Marvin to overcall there. It's very hard for him to have a seven. <laughs> Did you see that face Marvin just made? <laughs> what just happened? But Rogers put the big bet in. Nice, I like yeah, that. Yeah, put the big bet in. This is why Roger is so good, and like a lot of people don't give him credit for that. A lot of people say he's a fish, and that's completely wrong. Roger is. It's eleven thousand into fourteen. What a bot! I I love Big Roger. That's, <laughs> it's also fun. It's also I know you're one of Marvin's best friends, and you, you you actually are taking a pleasure in seeing him squirm here. No, no, I just I'm just I just like you know, I like I like Big Roger too. Like he's always been super nice to me, and I think he's a great player. And like a lot of people don't give him credit, but I think like he's one of the best French live poker players. You know? And he's really good. Like he's really good at doing this to people. Is this callable? I mean, Marvin obviously doesn't really... He's not in love with the way he's Is played this Is this callable? Hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's, from a theory standpoint, is it callable? Um, yes, because it's actually like, kind of the best hand you'll ever show up with at this point, and like, you've massively underrepresented your hand. Yeah. If you think about it. like you've Right. And really... I think Roger could be b betting something like 8-9 here, you know? 
feels, I mean, is or there... Like, 8, 9, or like... I mean, he probably doesn't bet 5, 6 that way, but he might as well bet, like, a hand, like, Queen, 9, or, um... You know, Queen, 9 is certainly a possibility here. And if if Roger did have, say, or queen 8, eight 7, you know? or 6, 7, wouldn't he have taken the free card on the turn? Maybe I mean, not. maybe he wouldn't, maybe he wouldn't. <laughs> it's, a it's a tough spot, right? Yeah. Uh... You, eh? It's great after. Marvin just said it. I can beat a couple of hands. He's just absolutely right there. That's um. Yeah, well, he's not thinking about the six ten. He's thinking about the hands, the value hands. He's, he he's thinking about the eight nine. He's thinking about um, the queen nine, the queen eight. You know? uh, but really, there. <laughs> one hand, he said. One hand. Marvin, which one is that? If he's betting queen nine, he's betting queen eight. It's just, uh, um, would he really? Would he have bet so big with a straight right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Why not? You know, it's it's quite obvious Marvin has a pretty strong hand. You know, like nothing massive, but it's like it's um, obvious Marvin has at least top pair at this point. So you should bet big. Really? I mean, wouldn't hey, you rather just bet four or five thousand to get paid off? I mean, that's. Is that too weak? Is it too don't obvious? Take the bad I think take it's the too weak and it doesn't go well with Roger's playing style at all. Like in a spot like this, you want to um, kind of force your opponent to either make a bluff. Like, you know, like, he kind of does turn Marvin's hands into bluff catchers. Like, even a hand, like I said, is now just a bluff catcher in Marvin's mind, which is great. Because it polarizes your range, so you either have the nuts or you have nothing. And I think Roger played that perfect. Perfect river sizing. But you could also go for a little overbet on the river or, like, you know, do some other stuff. <laughs> is, this, is this one of the strengths of Marvin's game? It's yeah. one of the strengths of Roger's game. For, for sure. In that spot. For just, sure. That's just a well-played hand by Roger. See, if Marvin's making the call here, it comes down to what you said, that he wouldn't think that he bets 8-7 or 6-7 on the turn. Who takes the bet this he year? Really? Played it like a no. set. <laughs> I played him yeah. off a set. You won. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, sh I'm sh short 10-6. Oh, that hurts. Nice you take the bet this year. Oh, oh I that hurts. I mean, Very nice, I say you take the bet this year. I said he has to call Should there, right? <laughs> How much does that hurt? It's gonna look pretty bad. <laughs> 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 not that bad, Bob. Not that bad. We've seen worse from it. Everybody <laughs> gets bluffed. Marvin's opened this one up from the button. Yes. What do you make of uh, no. of Blinov? Because he's been a really I interesting player. Uh, oh, Blinov. I mean, Blinov. He, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was, he looked like he's very, very Take snug, me. doesn't he? But then he sometimes does some absolutely random bluffs. Like there hands, a hand against Big Roger where he like three bet the turn and Roger four bet on like ace four four queen or something. Right. What the hell? What did they have there? It's just. They were both on complete air. Roger told me he was on complete air, and I was yeah. just like, yeah, that makes sense. Because if you had a four, you would just well, call. And he was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think Roger had the flush draw. Okay. Two huh. seven, maybe. I also said Roger's really good. Oh, trips for uh, Big Roger. What's going on here? Well, Marvin man. raced, and... Yeah, I think Roger is even... I think he may have even limped with this hand, if that's possible. Race. That's certainly possible. I must be very strong for me to this. Roger with his table talk is just really, really good. <laughs> 12200, really a click raise. And the truth is, is that no Roger has done this with air before. He does tonight. it with air all the time. <laughs> That's how he plays. He's good. Closer. Right. 
So with Mad Marvin calling here, obviously he's calling to try and take uh, this pot away on the turn, Dominic. Like he's actually planning to what? To make a raise here on the turn? You uh, want the event or you want the... Uh, the problem with this play is uh, he's very, no, very ambitious. He has no good cards really either. He has no outs. You prefer a check? You say you don't say me anything. Yes. Now you was in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! He's toying with Burn. him. Burn! <laughs> he's toying with him. Oh my god! I'm looking forward to I more big Roger against Marvin. This is great. <laughs> Marvin, obviously the defending champion here in Cyprus for the WPT. I feel like Big Roger went deep. Was it last year he went deep? In this tournament? I wouldn't know. Maybe not. But yeah, that's going to be a great tournament. That's also part of the reason why I left, because I want to get some good night of sleep and be relaxed for tomorrow. As we, I was saying before, Place like the packs. poker room is completely packed, and Place I think I don't know packs. one person in there. So it's, it's, it's has amazing. to be a great tournament, it right? Is a, it is amazing. Like last year was one of the greatest tournaments I played all year, and that's saying a lot because I was in Vegas and I played in South Africa. Well, Kate's is sitting on about 30,000. And he really, he has been uh, very, very aggressive with the three bets on uh, Big Raj's Open. So, is it just the three bet? What's going on here? It must have been like a four bet because the, it's a lot, a lot, they're putting lots of money. I mean, yeah, I think, uh, so I think uh, Raul has opened this to five for 500. And then Roger Roger's three bet and Daniel's now four bet. Roger must have made it 1,500. Yeah. And then uh, Kate's made it 2,300 total. Well, Raul's come all in here. He's only I mean, got 6,000. But is Big Raj likely to go for Daniel's whole stack? Uh, how much are they playing at this point? They're playing like six. So they're 30 behind. It, it's a pretty tough spot for him, isn't it? It's a gross spot for Big Roger. Because Roger now. And I don't think you can get away from that. Well, it's 5,000 to call. And really, if he's going to call, sh he should isolate, shouldn't he? So it just went like raise. 500, 1,700. I think Daniel oh. made it about 3,000. Big wow, Roger lays it down. Wow. Up. How good is I that? Open my end. Show it, show oh, it, show it. it. Yep. Right. Show that. How, how, good, how good a lay down was that by Big Roger? It's really good. See my hand? I'm, I'm not surprised he folded. I'm I more fold surprised how quickly he folded. I folded the queen. Queen. Oh, look. Oh. Check it out. He folded queen? A lot of outs here for Raul. Right. Ten or the ace, obviously. What do you know about Raul, by the way? Nothing. He's a, he's a Romanian player. My guess is he's sort of a... Internet young gun. <laughs> you can't watch it's it. So slow. <laughs> well, we're about to find out one thing about Raul. We're about to find out if, if he's, he's got another buy-in. Buy <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's got another buy-in somewhere. That doesn't mean he's going to use it. <laughs> Good uh, play. What can I do? Where is play, worse. play worse. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Play, play worse. Bad, you win. Raul's going to dig deep in his pockets, and Roger has stepped away from the table to talk with Kara. Roger is a man with uh, a lot of money in front of him at the moment. Tell me how it's been going for you. Yeah, I have a lot of money, but uh, it, 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 it don't come from sky. <laughs> so has uh, what's been working for you out there? What? What's been working for you? Uh, is it the other players playing badly against you? Or are you winning some bluffs? No, the, all the players are very good. We cannot say uh, who, who put 20k on the table, it's a very good player. We, as they cannot put 20k uh, for losing their money. But after, it's a run. Uh, you run good, you make the bluff, you, uh, and uh, you are in a good, uh, in a good running, it, it's uh, very easy. But the game is very, very good, and uh, I think it's uh, very strong players are playing. Some players are bad run, or are running bad, and I put the pressure on the table, and they cannot make anything. It's uh, difficult for them. It is. There's only a few uh, hours left here in the big game, so we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. Thank you. Smiles, styles, pain and shame. More big game action after the break.
coming up, one of these eight players will be voted off the game as the online viewers decide who their least favorite player is. Find out whose pride will be dented in our third and final eviction on Big Game Cyprus. <laughs> Have a look at these profit and loss. <laughs> Big Roger had 38,000 now. Not only did he destroy this table before the break, he's won uh, nearly as much again since the break. And he's made a great fold with queens. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he managed to throw away queens in the middle of it, which would have won an, another 30,000 had, what, what had he played. What happened to Marvin? It. Why is he down so much? He, was uh, he, he lost a flip against Sam oh. Trickett. Oh, but Trickett is not doing that well either. No. Well, it wasn't really a flip. It wasn't a f well, it was Ace Queen versus King Jack. Uh, on and free? No. Four. Yeah. Five. So Constantine has opened this up under the gun. And a load of callers. Four players. All in worse position. Let's see. Okay. I mean, Ace Ace. Yeah. It's just okay. nine board. Action is on Marvin. Uh, He's no. in the straddle position. Oh, so Marvin checked already. Um, he should definitely lead out with a bet here. Because he's going to get a very honest it's reaction from right. Constantine with two players behind. From everyone. And also, he's in position to uh, Harabidian and Cades, which is oh. always good. And also his nine is probably good. Okay. Let's see what Marvin's thinking right now. Oh, no, here we go again. Me and Big Red. I mean, this is not going to be a big pot because right now what's going to okay. happen is check. And a pretty easy check behind by Marvin, I'd say. It's absolutely no reason to bat. I mean, come on, at this point, you just. Uh, Well, Jack does play, and it's probably going to go check-check I mean, check again. Not surprisingly, Jack does play, but Roger's going to check now, because... Is he really expecting to get caught by exactly a worse nine? Uh, 1,000 mm. Oh, it sure looks like he is. Marvin's going to be sick. Did Marvin just... He <laughs> called. <laughs> Bet a 1,000 and called by Marvin. That's sort of... Is that what you call getting value owned? Uh, and the bet was just like really small, right? Like a, a thousand, thousand into thirty six hundred. Yep. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, the last time Big Roger did something like this, uh, he had the same kind that. of hand. Yeah, like the king queen, like queen this kind of a marginal <laughs> hand where <laughs> you thought he was winning, he but he might that. not be. You know. Yeah. I'm not saying Marvin should race there. It's just, yeah, it's just annoying. You're not allowed to take an advantage. Of course, one of the guys who was. He was coming in exactly when you left is Vladimir Shemilev. And I was saying before, of all the Russians, he seems to be one of the guys that, you know, the Americans are saying is the best Russian player now. Is that is that true? That he he's is a really beast? good. Yeah. I'm not sure how good he's at No Limit Holem, but I've seen him play Parliamental A and some mixed games. How much? Uh, everyone says he's really good. So. And where does he come from? Is it just sort of come? So. Is, he, is he a product of the live no, games I mean, in Russia, sort of thing, or? Well, yeah, like, well, I guess uh, in, in Russia there's hard lots hard. of big games in Russia. Marvin is queen series, so let's kind of focus on that. Race 2000. I would say it's fairly likely, given what's happened so far, Marvin's going to find a way to get hammered here. Shmelev has got the now, Ma king. Marvin should definitely win this pot preflop, even. Yeah, this is just gonna. Everyone else is just gonna fold now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's from the straddle position, so yeah. they're just gonna get this in. This guy just woke up with ace king, so yeah, this is going on. And see you flips better. All right, Marvin, it's your time to shine. All in. Yes. There's like, there's like a zero percent chance that the queens are good here. That. <laughs> well, not completely true. Might be true by the <laughs> end. <laughs> Probably not feeling very positive. Is Marvin, Marvin. Is Marvin complaining right now? Yeah. Oh. He's sort of getting the moan in advance. Nice. No, he's so going to win. <laughs> nice. That's important. Yeah. Well, he has a flop. It's a big pot here, 20,000. 
Yep. So far, so good for Rhett and Meyer. We could really use a sort of stroke of good fortune, but it's always the river. It's always the river. <laughs> Bam. Nope, not this time. Marvin doubles. He was wrong once, mate. He was oh. wrong once. <laughs> cost you, cost you 6,000, buddy. I let you win all the free roll ones and then lump on you and then lump when I. <laughs> <laughs> so Shemilev has played quite a long time on his first 10,000. My yeah. guess is he'll rebuy. We'll have a look and see. Does he like this game, I wonder? Does he feel like it's a good spot? I don't like to play that way. Certainly for small. You know who's really quieted down is Nikolai uh, Blinov. Yeah, he's always been kind of quiet, and then sometimes he would just do something. Marvin. It always seems like he's playing a tournament, even when he's playing a cash game. Yeah, but he wanted to play. What? Well, maybe he, he is. He said he didn't want to play. No, but he's... Anyway, he's you have to play. hold a weapon on him to get him to fold the 6-5 suited when you're stuck $20,000. <laughs> that is the definition Trace of temptation. And uh, speaking of trying to get even, and Dominic, what you said, every once in a while, Blinoff wakes up and does something. Do you think I'd make money I had a massage? So Blinov has opened this up to 1600. Is that, I think, I, I guess it was a, a three bet from the big blind against Marvin's cutoff open. And this is what you were saying before about Nikolai as he sits there for a while, looks really tight, and then just launches into a pot. I don't know how this answer is a flop. I don't know what the hell's going on. He's, he's three bet. He's three bet from the big, from the big blind has Nikolai. And should Marvin bet? It's kind of a huge flop for the 5-6, isn't it? That's a really good flop for 5-6. It, it was okay when you did it before. Man. Probably shouldn't play the 5-6 to begin with, but if you get there, you should probably bet this flop. It's pretty good. Okay. Leadoff is definitely going to check call once. I mean, yeah. Generally, it's a mistake to check there. Rather than just launch into it? Yep, absolutely. You should always be betting there. If you have a small pair, it's really hard to get that two shown on against a good player. And you'll always have five outs to improve. So Check. instead of trying to bluff catch with a hand, which is not always going to be good, you'd rather bluff catch with a hand like a nine, you know? Uh, sorry, not a nine, two lines. Like a queen or something, you know? Right. Like hands that are harder to beat. Now, Marvin, on the other hand, just sits there and uh, you can apply the pressure. And that's really not something you want with eight four. I mean, Blinov has kind of played this like he has ace-king, hasn't he? Three-bet pre-flop and then yeah. check on the flop. Isn't that it's not a very good hand. If he had six... Is it, um, sorry, as I said, if he had that, we wouldn't be playing it very well. Um, and I also don't think he's playing the jack four very well there either. It's uh, all in all. I don't, I'm not a big fan of just check calling as a pre-flop aggressor. Especially not if you have, like, medium equity, which is what he has. He has a pair and a flush draw. Is Marvin basically backed it well that can't be a good bluffing card for marvin is that a good bluffing card what do you i mean it, no it's it can't be right because i mean it looks like blinov has an ace doesn't it it's certainly possible blinov has been check calling with an ace yes at the same time does marvin have an ace there the way he played it um about the flop in position. I mean, could, could it be going through Marvin's head that Marvin I just have to go all in here because there's, this pot is 18,000 and I have no shot to win unless I stick the money in? That's generally not very good poker if you think like that. <laughs> you can't just be like, I have to win this pot. You have to like think about it and try to come up with a good reason. Like, what hands do I expect him to fold if I go all in now? You know, like, does he think he's going to fold everything that's not an ace? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, does he think he's um, he's calling me with like a four? Like he's that yeah, mother. I mean, sh surely because of the way Marvin's played this, where he's 
like you said, he's bet all the time. He does leave himself open to have had a lot of big hands. Any set, right? Yeah, I mean, Marvin is just... Uh, I don't know. I don't think the ace is that good of a bluffing card there. It might work against someone like Blinov, who's not that experienced, but like... Someone who's really good is going to realize that Marvin's not going to bet like most of his one pair hands here. Like, probably not going to bet nines again, tens again. You um, actually think some players could find a call here with clean off's hand? Yes, yes. Um, what is Marvin really yeah. representing there? Shut down, please. And he did call. He, he call. did call. It's a good call by Blinov. You're absolutely wow. right. That was Patrick Antonius-like. Uh, Look at Marvin, open mouth. Uh, He's been completely on there. Oh. <laughs> that hurts. Love it now. I, mean, I just kind of felt like he was trying too hard. Yeah. That hand. It's just, you don't have to always go bet bad. You don't have to <laughs> bet him in every pot. It's just How much you got to bet to make people fall and like Blinov, the bigger, the bigger bet, who had like been ahead early, stuck late, has now bet, got himself bet. back into profit. We're back for more from Season 7 of the Party Poker Big Game here in Cyprus in just a moment. Welcome back. There's only one game in the world where you'll see players evicted from the table during play, and that's the big game. We're close to finding out who will be sent packing by the online viewers and welcoming a new face to the table. Welcome back to the action. Vladimir Shemelev rebuying for $10,000. That doesn't bother him a whit. He's a big game player. Probably not happy about starting off behind, but... Everyone's shooting after Big Raj right now. He is loving life. This was starting out was one of his worst cash sessions in a while, Big Raj. And well, he's just hoovered the chips up. Good situation for Sam. Three bet here from Trickett. Uh, sorry, and Shamilev is called with the eights. Does he have enough? He's only got 7,500. Is this fine to set mine here? No. You don't like it? It's pretty, pretty bad. It, he actually has to get it. If you're, if you're going to call with the two eights on this kind of board, now you have to get it in, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but that's exactly why it's bad. It's just so bad. 2,500. What is he doing? He's just like, he has no plan. I think he's led into him. Yes. I said he has no plan. Trickett's going to say, all in. This is the guy who you said is the best player, you know, one of the best players you've ever seen. Yes. What are you doing? Trick it <laughs> knows exactly what's up. <laughs> are you reconsidering your, your views on Vladimir Shemelev? I mean, I thought, I mean, I don't know. He's just... Wow. And that was a really terribly played hand. Don't do that at home. Just, just don't do it. That was bad. He, he put 2,500 in the fold for the, for the remaining five. I mean, he was trying to find out if he was beat, and he, he was. He did. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> what if Trickett is just has, like, a, f a draw of some kind? There was a flush draw on board? I don't even know. But, like, if Trickett has that, it's bad. Just calling free flop is really bad as well. Like, that said, he, he was right. Uh... No, he wasn't. You just like you just like the fold preflop, basically. I do. Oh, I like to go all in preflop, but not call. Like calling with these deck sizes, out of position is generally a losing strategy. So don't do that. It's bad. <laughs> I don't think I've called a single three bet out of position today. Probably. Uh, I think you're right about that. Yeah. So it's nothing wrong with just folding, even though eights eights are real strong. So you might as well just chop. Well, there's nothing wrong with folding. Trick it open this behind the button. Roger's flat Roger in the small blind. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. He's, ooh. Wow, this he's caught Marvin. This could work out amazing for Big yeah. Roger. Like, absolutely amazing. I mean, should Trick it try and isolate here? Probably not. No, that seems silly. So you... You should just call it. 
just call and, and let Roger in? Yes, let me see how much Trickett is playing. Absolutely. I mean, Roger's not going to come in too light. It's still another uh, something. And now yeah. big see, Trickett, put the Trickett's speed really in. good at poker, so he doesn't just blind. He doesn't do it like lots of players would and just race. Is Roger going to put the hammer he down? He considers his options. He knows that Big Roger could have a big hand. He also knows that if he doesn't have a big hand, he's just going to fold anyway. Because if Big Roger has a hand like 10-9 or something, he's just folding out. And it doesn't matter if you re-raise. But if he has a hand like Queens or like... You know. And a lot of guys would have fallen into that trap, right? A lot of people. Or if Roger has like tens or like Jacks or something, and then you fall bet and then you get shoved on. What are you going to do now? I mean, it's just... Ugh. So, like, by calling there, you, uh, yeah, you put the top stacks less decision on him. And, and how clear is it going to be to Sam if Roger makes a big raise here? Then uh, his hand is I don't know. That's just... <laughs> I know you are like monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you are like monkey. I'm a monkey. Seems a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I like to swing from trees. I like, I like how Marvin is still smiling. He's just like, yeah. You're a jungle man. You have to, you're Tarzan. Marvin should actually be loving this right now. He doesn't realize it, but like. Well, he's, well he's Big Rash hasn't done this, anything yet. He's going to get this pot heads up against Roger, which is good. And he's also getting the best. Like, how much are you put? He's, getting, he's folding out one hand, he dominates. This is, this is really good. Is Big Raj even wondering between calling and raising, or is this all he just should Hollywood? He should absolutely raise, and he's the master of Hollywood, as we've seen before, so he's just going to raise at some point. He's taking a while at this stage, hasn't he? I mean, him and uh, Trick it up. I mean, they're not well, I mean, well, Sam's mind. pretty just deep. Raise, Sam's raise. pretty deep. Definitely just interested in raising here. Unbelievable. In a million years, he's never folding, right? No. Seems like the longer he takes. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Wow. Yes, you did. Wow, play that. it's put really Sam Trickett in an unbelievable position. Wow, that was just. Oh my God, that was bad. <laughs> and Marvin's thinking to himself, I've just lost twenty-five thousand to this guy. <laughs> what was the? Did you think he just talked himself out of it? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. I, he got he got spooked by Sam Trickett, I guess. What right? is he scared of? What is he scared of? Only kings or aces. He's king. <laughs> Look at oh, Sam. <laughs> Sam can't believe it, right? He's just, he's almost as shocked as me. And this is, uh. <laughs> Nobody knows what to say. Everybody's just looking away. Oh, there's a Jack. I don't know, honestly. In this Marvin's world. I might have, but then I like washed it out because it's been painful to remember. In this Marvin's world. All right, that's a good call. Maybe, and then they showed Ace Queen and Ace Jack, and then I was like, I'm never folding Queens again. <laughs> uh, you suck, jungle man. Again. What an amazing hand. You absolutely. I mean, and uh, I don't think I've ever folded Kings. Actually, I might have. You never folded Kings. Ah, uh -huh, that, that's why you don't fold Queens. You, so what happened to Big Rod oh, there? That's bad. It, it, is he guilty yeah, of? Yeah. You, you know, having a hold on to your stackitis. Um, he is just. I don't know. I can't figure him out. Someday he plays completely insane. Some days he plays like the biggest net. And Marvin now and back up to 7,500. Has a little comeback here. Yeah. Well, he's ahead nearly 40,000 anyway, Big Raj. But surely yeah. it could have been more. Look at the stacks. At the table, though, Even looks the like over 200,000 in play right now. <laughs> and I feel like it's always a good game when five guys are losing. <laughs> well, the eviction is coming, Dominic. Let's go down to Kara Scott to see who the next player on the rails is. 
The online viewers have been voting for the player they want to save here at the table. I can now tell you that the player with the fewest votes who will be evicted is Vladimir. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave the game. What? Me? What did I do? Are you kidding? Seems unfair. He just sat down. He's thinking. He actually played quite lively, didn't he? Next time, the big game seven wings its way to a close, trying to get even or trying to win all the money at the Party Poker Big Game Seven.